Hello and welcome once again to yet another another edition of the Rare Groove Revolution. I'm your host, DJ Solero, and uh, I'm just going to kick things off with uh, a man by the name of Graham Nash, formerly of Crosby, Stills & Nash. Well, Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young, technically. And in 1971, uh, he came out with his, Graham Nash came out with his debut LP entitled Songs for Beginners. One of those songs being a, so a, a title cut called Chicago. And if it sounds familiar to all of you hip hop listeners, it should because it was sampled for a, rock of, a particular Rockefeller artist. I'll let you hear for yourself. Here's Graham Nash's Chicago. Let's hear it. other than uh, Graham Nash and his song entitled Chicago off his 1971 LP Songs for Beginners made popular by Beanie Siegel uh, for his song The Truth which was produced by Mr. Kanye West. So the next album up to bat we have here is an artist by the name of Blowfly whose name, his, whose real name is uh, Clarence Reed and this is his debut LP um, this is Blowfly's debut LP, The Weird World of Blowfly, um, back in 1970. And uh, one of the songs is called Second Show, and it was sampled by another um, hip-hop group back in the, uh, well, a couple of years back. Um, just here for yourself, here is the second show uh, by Blowfly off The Weird World of Blowfly, The Weir Weird World of Blowfly LP back in 1970. Let's hear it. Leave the door, man, down if I don't steal the hell out of it. We're not going to do it that way. We're going to dedicate this especially to all you ladies. We call it, I don't want no woman to get me all oh, bumping. Let's do it anyway. Yeah! Give me 
need nothing. Just open up your and I get it myself. together and we'll be right back for the second show so y'all cool it and remember if y'all got a man that won't do what you want just call on us baby Yes, and uh, that was that was none other than Blowfly and uh, his song, The Second Show. That was part one. Now you're going to hear part two. And, you know, if you've been watching the Rare Groove Revolution uh, for a while, you noticed that I had showcased this record in the past, but I never actually played any snippets or any songs off of this LP, you know, at the time that I had originally showcased the record. So here is part two of second show off of uh, Blowfly's The Weird, Weird World of Blowfly, made popular by the Jurassic Five for quality control. Let's hear it. Me and the fellas got one more thing to say for y'all before we're leaving this evening. You ready, fellas? Go something like this, listen. been a groove here with y'all and I hope we can do it again sometime and on the behalf of and my main man over there on drums and myself blow fly we like to leave y'all with these words yeah the car kiss the goat. And if you don't like our show here, you can kiss our bass note. So long, get it, fella. Rather, uh, the, the Weird World of Blowfly by Blowfly. Um, the name of the song actually was called The Second Show. That was part two, and that was the part that was used on Jurassic 5's quality control for all of you underground hip-hop heads out there. Next, what we have up to bat is a uh, horn-driven group that's not, too, that, that's not as well known as other groups that, you know, were more famous like Chicago and Blood, Sweat and Tears. This was actually the Ten Wheel Drive with lead singer Jenya Raven, who uh, I believe up to this uh, very day still performs and you know uh, in the city and such. But anyway, this is a song that they did um, called Come Live With Me off uh, Ten Wheel Drive's 1971 LP, um, Brief Replies. And if it sounds familiar, it should because it was used by, well, I'll let you hear for yourself. Here is the Ten Wheel Drive and their song Come Live With Me. Let's hear it.
that was none other than um, the Ten Wheel Drive featuring Miss Jenya, the singing of Miss Jenya Raven. That song was actually sped up a bit um, to match the uh, the tempo that was that it was sampled at when it was used for Black Moon's um, "I Got You Open," the original version. Um, big shout out to the Beat Miners, by the way, the way they had crafted that particular song. Um, but moving on. We have uh, a conductor and arranger by the name of Bill Conti. And uh, in 1978, he scored and arranged the uh, musical score, the soundtrack for uh, Rocky yeah. back in 1978. And uh, one of the songs that he uh, scored was a song called Reflections. And we're gonna, we're gonna hear that right now. So without any further delay, here is Bill Conti's Reflections. was none other than conductor, composer, and arranger Mr. Bill Conti and uh, his song entitled Reflections, which was actually off of the uh, Rocky soundtrack back in 1978. Next up to bat, we have legendary crooner, 60s uh, singer, 50s and 60s singer, uh, Mr. Chuck Jackson, who scored a hit back in 1962, I believe, with uh, his song Any Day Now. Um, this was a song that he came out with back in 67, uh, I believe, uh, called And That's Saying A Lot, which, is, uh, gone on, which has gone on to have been sampled for, I believe, De La Soul had used it at one point off the uh, De La Soul Is Dead LP back in 1991. Um, 
The beginning of the song contains a break for all of you beat heads out there who are into like, you know, sampling, break beats and such. Here's Chuck Jackson, Chuck Jackson, blah, Chuck Jackson's and that's saying a lot. Let's hear it. none other than Chuck Jackson and his song entitled and that saying a lot made popular like I had mentioned before for De La Soul um, who had used it off their 1991 classic LP De La Soul is dead um, next up to bat here we have the late great baby Huey who in uh, 1970 69 rather uh, signed on to Curtis Mayfield's Curtain Records and uh, came out with a couple of 45s um, and an LP that came out uh, in 1971 after his death in 1970. Um, one of the songs off of this LP, The Living Legend, uh, Hard Times, has been sampled uh, crazy, crazily. You know, a lot of times it's been sampled by groups such as uh, A Tribe Called Quest, um, Chill Rob G. Um, Ghostface Killer, you know, a lot of people have sampled from this particular artist and uh, one of the songs from uh, this particular record, The Living Legend, it's called Hard Times and uh, let's hear it, Ray Groove. No. 
brother, he wants to hold me up. Having a hard time in this crazy town. Having a hard time. There's no love to be found. Having a hard time in this crazy town. Having a hard time. There's no love. Yes, folks, and that was the late great Baby Huey and the Babysitters and uh, the song Hard Times, um, written originally by uh, Curtis Mayfield, and uh, it was off of uh, Curtis's Curtom Records back in 1969, and it was made popular, as I mentioned before, uh, by such groups as A Tribe Called Quest, uh, 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 hip-hop artist Chill Rob G, um, Ghostface Killer, you know, people like that, and I had showcased showcased this particular record before so um you know but i've never played anything off of it so i ho hope you enjoyed it and i hope you enjoyed this show but before i go i'm just going to end it off with uh, the new birth and th their song honeybee which has also been sampled off their uh, 1971 lp ain't no big thing but it's growing off the rca label so with that being said y'all take it easy this is the red groove revolution signing off i'm dj solero here's honeybee peace